While people in Northern Ireland get a bank holiday for St. Patrick's Day, and there's a bank holiday for St. Andrew's Day in Scotland, there isn't a bank holiday for St. George's Day, and I think that should, and that's something which should be corrected, and uh, corrected sooner rather than later. It deserves its own bank holiday. In the meantime, uh, the um, one, one of the Oxford colleges, Magdalen College, is in trouble because it's failing to celebrate with a dinner the patron saint of England who died in 303 uh, on the feast of St. George. And Dinah Rose is the president of Magdalen College. I remember her very well. Um, we're, we're, we're contemporaries. We did uh, some plays together. I remember designing costumes for her and uh, for, for, for a rather a, a, a rather wonderful production of two plays by Federico Garcia Lorca, and I, I, I very I very much enjoyed that. She she went on to do other plays as well, and uh, I, I I wish her well. I think she's made the right decision that um, it's important to celebrate Eid, and it's less important to celebrate. St. George's Day. If other saints' days are being celebrated, then St. George's Day, by all means, celebrate St. George's Day. But Eid is a celebration which uh, reaches out to the Muslim community, which uh, is important, and I think it's important for the colleges in Oxford and in Cambridge to make that commitment. And uh, and, and given the fact that the Eid banquet will be on the 21st of April, that's tomorrow, and St. George's Day is only a couple of days later, uh, it makes no sense to have two banquets in the same week. And I think uh, Dinah Rose's position is perfectly reasonable and uh, perfectly valid. What she might like to do, of course, is to... Is, is, is to follow the Julian rather than the Gregorian calendar, which would give her another option in a couple of weeks' time.